a suitcase and a trunk And the only time that he is satisfied is when he's on a drunk Hey, get your hands off him. What the hell are you doing? Whoa, relax there, stud. I'm not here to hurt anyone. Well, I guess I should, but I just can't. He's so innocent looking after all. Who the hell are you? What the fuck are you doing in the middle of the road? The name is Gabriel. It's nice to finally meet you, Jack. I've been following your work for a while now, and I have to say, I'm really impressed. You work for the Bureau or the Agency? No, 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 you silly man. Let's just say I work for the real Big Brother. The man upstairs. You know, the true keeper of the law. Get your hands up and step away from the boy. Ha! <laughs> you boys with your silly guns. I was going to kill you both, but there was something in his eyes. I saw a glimmer of hope there. Don't worry, we will meet again soon. You all right? You feel strange or anything? Yeah, it looks like there's some new players. We really need to keep our head in the game. I think the town is behind these trees here. Someone's gonna find this bus soon, and we should try to avoid any suspicion. Uh, speaking of suspicion, we really should take a step back with the killing. Uh, we need to keep a lower profile while we're trying to figure out a way to open these seals. Now, I've been reading on the subject a lot lately, and I think I got an idea about how we should go about this. Now, I'll show you some of the literature once we get to my apartment. around there. You can do this jump, right? We got a lot to do here. Now if we can climb this, we should see the path again.
shit. I think we need a little help here, son. Now, I'm pretty sure we can use the tree over there to climb over. Are you able to bring that down? I've seen you use those abilities before. Oh, hi. was interesting, to say the least. Come on, son. Sweet home. Let's take the path down there. Let me know if you have any problems.
I'm good. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Jack! Is that you, Jack? Hey, I didn't know if you were coming or not. You could have used the front door, you know. But I'm glad you're here. And who's this little guy? You remember the senator's kid, right? Wagner's son, Lucius? Oh, yeah, right. How could I forget? Last year was pretty rough on us all. I can only imagine what you must be going through. Yeah, he doesn't speak much. I just picked him up from Benedict's. I think it's good to keep him near his home while we look for a better place for him. So this is the kid? 
sole survivor of the Dante fire. How's he doing? Did the doctors tell you it's okay to take him already? Lieutenant, they told me to take him to a more familiar environment. His mental health seems fine. It's just that he's going to take some time to recover from something like this. I talked to child services, and they're going to look for a place to put him in. In the meantime, I think we should try and make him feel as comfortable as possible. Don't you agree? I do. Did you talk to Dr. Young? Maybe I should contact him for some consultation on the situation. No need to for that. I talked to him, and I think I have everything under control. Besides, he's currently on vacation. I think he said something about taking a trip to the Pink Islands. Oh, must be the Caribbean trip he was always talking about. Well then, let's just make him feel comfortable, shall we? You know, I have an idea. You know what you could do, Lucius? You could take this camera and be our cameraman for the party. Just wander around and take pictures of everyone having a good time. That sounds like a great idea. It's a great way to meet everyone here. Go right ahead, son. Let me know if you have any problems. I have to say something here doesn't really add up. Don't run, children. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, hello there. Was it Lucius? You're our personal photographer, are you? Well, that's lovely, darling. I wish Samantha and Derek could have something useful to do. Maybe you can come and play with them at our house. It's the one near the beach. You're welcome to visit any time. Our door is always open. swimming? Shoot, I know you do it. I know you do. Come on, you can tell me. Sneak a peek? I would. All them fine ladies sleeping there? <laughs> yeah. Really, sir? Re really, sir? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I... I really must be going back to the motel. There might be customers coming and my, my mother gets worried. How is your mother, Banner? I haven't seen her in a while. I should come and pay a visit. Maybe bring the kid with me. She's fine, sir. We're, we're all fine. I, I mean, why would you come? I mean, I mean, she... Come as you may, but she gets ill sometimes. I mean, she has been ill lately, so... She probably won't be able to see any visitors. But 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 I'll make sure to let her know. Uh, sometimes she gets upset. You know, I I try to keep the schedule, but but sometimes she just gets upset. Oh, hello there. Well, you're welcome to visit, of course. I, I mean, I work a lot, but but I always have time to meet new friends. I I always. Wanted a little brother, but she never listened. Yeah, yeah. Hello. It's a good thing we have a big time lawyer like you here to help with the case. We're loaded with lawsuits, and we just want to get everyone who had losses to be compensated. Taking those pictures won't save you, son. We all know what's coming. Don't we? Oh, Lord, yes, we do. Such a sweet, innocent child like you will not be saved without Jesus on your back. The devil is among us and can taint the minds of these innocent children. We must ask the Lord to save him. Okay, okay. Ain't that enough for one night? Leave the poor kid alone. All you need to know, son, is that you are always welcome to our house. The Lord does not discriminate. Jesus accepts all sinners and forgives them all. Whenever you feel like it, day or night, just visit the parish 
It's the great big house on the beach. We'll be there waiting for you. I always wanted a little brother, but... Who do we have here? Well, hello. Good evening, Lucius. We meet again. You've met him before. Oh, well, yes. Charles and I go way back. Oh, really? Are you sure your personal relationship is not interfering with the case, son? Oh, quite sure, sir. Our relationship was always strictly business. And I assure you, there are no conflict of interest. I'll have to look into that. Come on now, Jackson. We're not at work. He's up on it. Come now, gentlemen. Let the boy snap his pictures. Oh, right. Yeah. Go right ahead. And if you ever come by the town hall, be sure to give me a visit. I'm sure I have some chocolate there or something. Looking at your belly, I'm thinking they might be all gone. <laughs> What's the matter, son? Yeah. Oh, hello, son. <laughs> That's what you get, you drunk bastard. Hey, what the hell, kid? What are you trying to do here? Give me a heart attack? Get lost, will you? Scram. Don't mind that miserable man. Take all the pictures you want. Not everyone here is as grumpy as that fool. Ain't that right, Seeper? Get off me, you old fart. You can't even sail correctly. And is that an SGX-72 LAN camera? Where, where did you get that? I have the exact same one. It takes only 10 seconds to develop the picture. It's part of my secret project. Come on, take a picture of this young devil here. No one knows what the hell he's building, but he just keeps on building. Come see me at the docks when you have the time. I'll take you for a spin. Hi. Okay. You like swimming? Derek, stop that! You're hurting him! No! What's the matter, sis? Are you scared? Scared of a little birdie? No, Derek! You're killing him! Don't kill him! Who are you? It's the kid from the mansion, the rich mute. His parents are dead. His parents are dead! And he killed them! He killed them dead! He did not. They died in a fire, Dave. I heard that his dad killed his mom with a nail gun. Oh. Is that true? You're right. Mute and crazy. What is he gonna do? Tell on us? Kid. I'm not scared. <laughs> Thank you.
Maybe it's time for us to go. It's getting kind of late, especially for the kids. Oh, so soon? Well, I guess you're right. Come by the office anytime and bring the kid for a checkup. I would love to see him. Thanks, Doc. We'll see you later. Well, this is it. Make yourself at home. You can sleep there on the right. My bedroom's over here on the left. There's some clothes in the wardrobe that might fit you, and I think there should be some milk or something in the fridge. So, yeah, I had a chance to look into this a bit while you were out there doing your thing. And what I gathered was that these seals open up after certain events have happened. There seems to be sort of a continuing theme with these prophecies. It's like with the trumpets. I think we need to create some sort of figurative events that somehow conform with the events of the Bible. Like, look here. I think what we're looking for here is some sort of ruler, or a guy who's about to conquer something, a place. There's not a lot of people here who fit that description. And then there's also this bow hunting thing. We need to look for some evidence about that. Once we're 100% sure who our guy is, we make sure no one is looking for him after he's gone. So tomorrow morning, I think we should give everyone a visit. I still have to work and we need to try and keep up appearances. You never know if those become useful visits for our cause. I wonder how we're gonna make these four guys into the horsemen. You know, we need to be crafty on this one. Hmm. I used to belong to my son, Drew, but he's not going to be using it anymore.
Oh, hi. You're up. I was just about to wake you up. How'd you sleep? Any trips to the underworld? So, I've made some breakfast here. Hope you like scrambled eggs. I think you should eat and then change into something more appropriate. We should get going if we want to crack this. Come on, let's go. Follow me. It's the Freeman's house. They're our closest neighbors. I think it's important we keep good rapport with them. They're the kind of people who like to gossip and love to snoop around other people's business. On top of that, they're terribly religious. It's better we visit them than have them constantly visit us. So just keep close attention of everything and learn as much as you can. Come on in, detective. I saw you guys coming from a mile away. I'm cooking at the moment, but it's good you brought the little one for a visit. I'm sure he'll get along with my boys just fine. You want anything? Coffee? Tea? Beer, maybe? No, ma'am, I'm good. Just wanted to say hi and bring the boy over for a quick visit. We have to be leaving soon anyway. Oh, that's too bad. Well, make yourself at home. I think Gary's at his office working on something. Why don't you look around and I'll have a word with the missus. Probably the boys forgot it here. They should re- Well, hello. Who do we have here? I was just writing a letter here. Work thing, you know. How are you, son? You look... How can I say this? Hmm. Delicate? Yes. How are my boys treating you? If they get aggressive, just let me know. I'll take care of it. We're planning to add a pool to the house. I would love to see you swimming in it someday. Do you like swimming?
we've got a lot to do here. Good morning, detective. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Green. As you can see, I have this small guy here who's eager to continue his studies. I know he's used to being homeschooled, but unfortunately, that's not really an option anymore. I'm sure we can fit him in. It's not like the town's filled with kids. We'll be just fine, won't we, Lucius? Yeah, one more thing. He doesn't really speak much. Heh. <laughs> well, we have enough noise as it is. Some silence would do us all good. Sure. Is it okay if he looks around a little bit? Of course. I'll be here all day. I was thinking if we could start next week, get him a chance to relax, you know, familiarize himself with the new house and all. Yes, of course. We actually have a Halloween vacation this year. We thought the kids would enjoy some free time to get their costumes ready. Well, that fits perfectly then. Thanks, Amanda. I'll see you later. I think we should first determine your progress before choosing a path for you. Oh, hi there. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking, too. This could be the place we're looking for. Let's go and check it out. Looks like the mayor's going for your dad's old job. Well, Charles's old job. Well, it says he's gonna be in Little Rock this evening. That's 30 miles away, and I hope we didn't miss him. Doesn't seem like there's anyone coming. Let's check out and see if the mayor's even here. When we go in there, I want you to keep an eye out for clues, all right? We're looking for a guy who fits the description of the first horseman. Now this guy has to be the closest thing we have to a king around here. But I'm not sure how we're supposed to handle this whole bow and arrow thing. Hello? Are we interrupting? Oh no, Dr. Green here was just leaving. Hello, Jack. Lucius. Yes. So, John, I'll be back later in the evening. 
shall we say, 6 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. See you then. Come on in, Jack. It's nice to see you again. Well, well. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, I was still going through the case of Charles Wagner. Maybe bringing the kid here and talking about the case isn't such a good idea, Detective. Yeah, how inconsiderate of me. How are you? Everything okay? I'm good. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Yes, I know. We all do. Charles was a good friend of mine and will be sorely missed. I just can't wrap my head around him doing anything like this. With all due respect, sir, I think aiming for his jaw right after he died is something a friend would probably not do. Someone has to continue the work he was doing. It's important for all of us, and quite frankly, I think you are stepping out of line here, Detective. Maybe I am. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'll be getting out of your way now, sir. Is it okay if I leave the kid here for a second? I have some errands to do, and I think you'd find the whole building quite interesting. You don't have to watch him or anything. He'll find his way back to my apartment on his own. You sure about that, Detective? You can do that, right? Yeah, he's okay with it. Don't worry. Okay, fine. J just for a few minutes, then. Thank you, sir. Serves you right, cunt. How are you? Everything okay? Got that in the state finals, 65. I hunt with a bow, too. It's one of the most exhilarating things a man can do. You will learn that one day, son. We used to go hunting with your father back in the day. There's not a lot of things that give you that rush. A man is most at peace when he's one with nature, son. Hello, son. Are you feeling all right, boy? What's this? Oh, shit. I need to call him. Hi, Lewis. It's John. Yeah, about the appointment we had today. Listen, I'm not going to be able to make it. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to avoid the full physical. It's just that I'm actually starting the campaign trail today. Yeah, I need to be in Little Rock by six, so I can't really be doing a physical with you, can I? Yeah. No, I won't be able to do it for a while. I'll be gone for the whole month. We'll have to reschedule when I get back. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll let you know when I get back. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks. I don't have to do that anymore. You're my own personal savior. Oh, hello, son.
Hmm, that's strange. The reception's totally empty. Sir, are you there? Detective! Speak of the devil! And Lucius, how lovely. What are you doing here? Don't worry, I haven't revealed your little secret. And who would even believe me? I'm actually hoping you might end up changing your plans. Jack, come on in. Ta-ta! Lieutenant. Good morning, Detective. I see you're still dragging the kid along. You planning on keeping it? I think he should join the classes so he doesn't fall behind. And I also think it would be good for him to stay with me for a while. Don't take this the wrong way, but you do know that keeping him around is not going to bring your son back. I know, I know. I got this under control. Don't worry about it. Anyway, what was this guy doing here? And why is the desk downstairs empty? Oh, Gabriel. We were just talking about you and your situation. He's handling the case, and we're just all looking out for the kid here. The desk is empty because Kathy left. Like most people, she was affected quite a bit by the Wagner case. She couldn't stay anymore because of the memories that kept surfacing. Anything else? No, I'm good. Then go and do your job. We still have a lot of loose ends here, and state troopers just notify that there's an APB on a girl that could be coming through here. I want you to check the motel for her. Her name is... Paula Lambert. Tall, blonde, attractive. Stole 40000 from her boss. I'll look into it. Come on, son. I have to say something here doesn't really add up. Interesting. That must have cost a fortune. Yeah, they're not that expensive. The funny thing is, though, that the damn thing keeps triggering almost every time he's cooking. And sometimes he has to run to his house because he left the stove on. That doesn't sound like a person who's responsible enough to be a mayor, let alone a senator. I know. But it's a good thing he has the alarm. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have burned the place down many times. 
probably my livelihood with it. Oh, right. Your reception. But aren't you across the street from him? Well, I guess it's kind of unlikely that my house would catch fire from his. But it's annoying, to say the least. Well, hello there. What can I get you, honey? He doesn't really speak, Cheryl. He doesn't? That's strange. Is there something wrong with him? No, there's nothing physically preventing him from talking. I think it's mainly trauma-induced. But it's hard to say. He's been like this for a while. That's sad. Chicken noodles! Thanks, Cheryl. Don't thank me. Thank my father. Thanks, Mr. Williams. <laughs> You're welcome, son.
Hello? Again? Thanks for the heads up. I'll be right there. Hello, son. What's the matter, son? So I think I might have an idea what we should do. There used to be this small amusement park right next to my house. If I'm not mistaken, I think I've left a few things behind when they went bankrupt. I think we could use some of that for recreating the prophecies. Like, for instance, we could use that uh, carousel for the four horsemen. Hello?
solve your problem.
So, I went through these last night. This next seal seems a bit vague. I think it has someone who is provoking people, sort of arming them to fight against their fellow man. He has taken the peace from Earth, and a great sword has been given to him. I guess finding a literal sword would be a definitive answer. We've got a lot to do here.
Hi. Oh, hi. It's you. Oh, shoot. You got it. The CX145 microprocessor from the Magna Journey. Where did you get that? Can I have it? Well, maybe we can make a trade then. Is there anything you need from here? Oh, the six inch wrench. Hmm, I only have three of those. Is there anything else you can get for that? Fine, I'll trade you the wrench for the processor. Now all I need is the T12C3 and some batteries. Then I'm finally Seems like you done good. Or at least something. It's starting to rain. You think we should go in? I would think twice about this. You again? Maybe you should mind your own business. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't always have to be this cliched thing about the good versus the bad. There's still a chance for you both. Even the most difficult sins can be repaid. Be careful, Lucius. This guy's got some tricks up his sleeve. This is most likely a ploy. Jack, I understand your pain, Jack. Having your doubts about the Lord. Difficulties trusting him again. You will have to understand that sometimes some things cannot be helped. Not everything that happens is his will. You were easily chosen to shepherd this boy. Are you really so blind that you cannot see how it was all decided for you long ago? He does carry the seed of the demon in him, but not all of him is purely evil. There's some things they overlooked about his mother's family. Anyway, you already know there could be a place up there for you. Imagine the irony. Devil's son ends up in heaven. It's not your fault, man. Fuck him. Stay away from that guy. He's just trying to trick us into their games of this biblical bullshit. We know what we need to do here. Yes. 
sins. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. I'm Father Nagel of the Winter Hill Diocese, and we've come to offer a blessing for better days for this place. Now, gather with me for the communion. We remember how on the night he was to be betrayed, Jesus ate a special meal with his closest friends. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Gracious God, pour out thy spirit upon this gathering, this table, as we eat and drink in fellowship with each other. May we be filled with hope for the future. Amen. Anything I can do you for? Thank you. 
Is everything okay? Did you need something? So, the rumors are true. You are a demon of some kind. A demon sent from hell to torture the living. A beast that will bring forth death and suffering. The Lord will save me. You may have your ways, but you are in his house now. He will not let one of his most faithful shepherds go astray. He will come for my aid. Take thy wicked soul and... Help me, Lord! I need you! Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name! Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven! Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses! as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let me us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen! Seems like it's not working. Maybe we're missing something. Jesus Christ. This shit's making my skin crawl. And I thought I was ready for this shit, but I guess once you see it with your own eyes, it all becomes much more real. I need a drink.
He should be up by now. You awake? We have a busy day ahead of us. Damn it. Shit. Sorry about that. He scared me over there. I guess that might be a common problem for you, huh? Look, I need to head to the office. You're free to come along or just do whatever you feel like doing. However, I think we should figure out what our next objective is as soon as possible. So try and keep that in mind while you wreak havoc around the town. And to be clear, that was just a joke. I think we should maintain a low profile as long as possible. I realize the bodies are starting to rack up, but so far I think we're very much getting away with murder here. So let's not throw that away just yet. Yeah, I better get going. Can you clean up that spill in the room there before you leave? Just the right size. Thanks. I'll give you the cutters, but only if you keep looking for the T12C3. I have to say, something here doesn't really add up. I've tried contacting the hospital, but so far there has been no answer whatsoever. I had these papers saying the boy is staying there until March. And then I had these other papers that you gave me that say quite the opposite. The signatures are totally different, and I can't get any confirmation from the hospital. It's like the whole building has disappeared. So, when exactly did you leave the hospital? I don't quite understand how it took you two days to come here with the boy. Well, I took a small detour to go and see his father's grave. He really hadn't had a chance to see it yet. And where was that again? Ludlow? No, in Arlington. He was qualified for a burial in the National Cemetery there. Oh, right. Did you hear what happened in Ludlow? In Ludlow? No, oh, why would I? 
They had a major crisis, a bunch of fires and a swarm of locusts. They had to call in the National Guard, and I heard there was a situation of some kind. What do you mean? I'm not sure what happened exactly, but they are suspecting that it was a terrorist attack of some sort. They found poison in the water supply and a bunch of other evidence that points towards something like that. Jesus. They ended up evacuating the whole town, and the word is that one of the buses used for the evacuation is missing. So it could be that the terrorist managed to escape with that and have hostages somewhere. Well, do they have any idea where? Nah. They are still looking for the bus. It's possible that it even came this way. If they don't find it soon, I'm sure they will extend the search here. Be ready to participate soon. Well, we really don't have the manpower to conduct any searches, Lieutenant. I'm sure some of the town folk would gladly help. I'm going to ask the mayor to help us out with it. The mayor? You really think he can get anything done? Yeah, I'm sure he can get us some reinforcements here. I already called the courthouse, but it seems he's scheduled for a camping trip. Once he gets back, I'll ask him. Hello, son. Hello there, Lucius. Okay, I think we're done here. How are you doing with the other case? Which one? The girl. Oh, yeah. There was a girl at the motel, but she didn't quite fit the description. I'm going to check that again just to make sure, after I'm done with some of this paperwork here. Okay, Jack. You do that. We ain't got much time here. Sooner or later, he's going to find out what happened. And then we need to be ready with the scroll and stuff.
sick joke is this? Who the hell are you? You know who I am. You will all be prosecuted for this. Well, if we weren't going to hell before, we sure as hell are now. This is not going to stay hidden for long, Lucius. I'm not sure how all of this is going to go down after we get these seals open. As I see it, we are fulfilling the prophecy. And by fulfilling the prophecy, we are going to open something. I guess some sort of portal to hell? To let them in? Or for us to go there? So wait, he has to go there? Or he has to let them hear? So I'm guessing you have this pretty much figured out. I wish you could just let me in on this a bit more. So I guess this next one needs to be a murderer. I don't think there's anyone like that here. There really haven't been any homicides in the area in a long time. Besides all the deaths at your home, of course. Accident. We may need to go look further for this, unless you have any ideas.
my mom. I, I, I will not do it. She's done nothing wrong. No, mom. I, 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 I will not do it. She has done nothing wrong. That's a lie, and you know it. She's done plenty of wrong. But why, mom? Why, why, why does she have to die? Can't we let her go just, just this once? You know what happens when you let one go. They will come and take me away from you. Is that what you want? No, Mom. Then you know what to do. She just gets a little, a little mad sometimes. I, 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 I won't do it, Mom. If you want it done, then you'll have to do it yourself. Shut up, you whore!
mother? So we got the four horsemen now. What's next? Ah, yes. People with white robes having naked games. So here we go. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. And for the testimony which they held, they called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth? and avenge our blood. You have a car, right? Yeah, I have my truck. I'll gather everyone I can find and drive them to the church. That'll hold, right? Yeah, that thing's been there for a hundred years. Ain't no storm gonna pull it down tonight either. This must be part of the sixth seal. Listen to this. I watched as the land broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became as dark as black cloth, and the moon became as red as blood. It's happening, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely happening. So we need to do one more thing. We need to spill a lot of blood. It says that the moon turns red with blood. That's where everyone will be in a storm like this. We better get there ourselves. The church is a perfect place for me to do this. We managed to turn this place into a sacrilegious mountain before. It should be no problem. Once you get in, 
I'll bar the door from the outside. That way no one will be able to get out. You can go crazy in there. Just paint the moon as red as you possibly can. Are you really sure this is what you want to do? I've told you before, it's not gonna bring your son back. What's going to happen here is, Lucifer is gonna come up and bring forth the rapture. Lucius is not your son, Jack. It's the devil's son. You're gonna be cast aside when he comes here, and you will have to spend eternity in purgatory while your son and wife stay up there in heaven. I know the boy kind of reminds you of your son, but the only way for you to spend time with your real son is to fight back against this madness. You haven't done anything that terrible yet. God will forgive your sins if you let him. You just have to accept Jesus Christ as your savior and prove that you are worthy. You're like a father to that kid. He will listen to you. The devil's side of him will not be able to resist the temptation. That's your key. Together, you can take down the Prince of Darkness. We know what you are, son. You didn't think I'd let you kill everyone without fighting back. The boy here is no ordinary boy, ladies and gentlemen. The boy is the son of the devil. He may not look like much, but believe me, he is all evil. Together with Jack, they've been quietly killing people and performing some sort of ritual at their backyard. I saw it all. At least seven bodies, all desecrated with evil markings made to look like the four horsemen and the martyrs of God. He killed his own family and everyone who worked for them. This boy is not human. He is a demon and must be killed. Die! What the hell? What the hell? Get us all. Let's grab it. The seal melted off, so I figured you were done here. Where is everyone? Something is definitely happening out there. I think the portal might be forming already. 
Do we really want your father to rule this place? Is that really what we're looking for? Making him tests, killing his other children. I mean, what kind of a father is that? And what happens to me when he gets here, huh? I'm a sinner, and as far as I know, we both might end up as his prisoners. Don't you want to make your own rules? Don't you want to stop these tests and games and rule the place however you like? Maybe even want to have a kind heart somewhere. You've done everything he's asked, and you've got no rewards whatsoever. Without you, he wouldn't be able to do anything by himself. I say we go and find the dagger. Even if you feel like this is not what you want to do, it's still better to have the option to act in case something goes wrong. I think we've had enough ideas from this kind of guff in here. Don't you agree, my boy? You know, it was me who got him to take that road that night. <laughs> I bet you didn't know there was a back door to my kingdom. True. We are now opening something that will allow my full dominion to ravage the earth. But in the meantime, my trusty old rule still does the job quite well. Such a shame, really. You've done so well for so long. And just when I was about to take you with me to rule the whole place, I find you here, conniving against me with your friendly detective. You leave me no choice but to punish you. I'm grounding you for a week. And when that week is over, so shall be the rapture. Sadly, I don't know what will happen to you while the whole place burns down with the mortal souls of the sinners. And frankly, I'm so hurt that I might not even care. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my happy birthday, son. Man, no. Oh. Sorry about your friend, Mr. McGuffin. He had a nice soul. I liked him. Shame on Lucifer for doing this to you. Now he's out there and trying to fulfill the prophecy by himself. And you're here all alone with the rest of mankind. Left to die. Luckily, you can still change things around. right down. 
down there. Just pick that up and stab Lucifer with it. Then you'll stay as the ruler, and you can do whatever you like. No more rules, no more quests. Like what Mr. McGuffin said, you know that pet cemetery near your house? There's a mausoleum at the center of it. That's where the back door is. It's been said that only the wicked can use these back doors, and the blood inside your veins should hold the key. Do the right thing, Lucius. Don't let Lucifer get away with it.
such a shame. You were one of my most promising prospects. Eventually, they all turn on me. They all want the throne in the end. It all ends up the same. They end up destroyed when they raise their hand against me. And so shall end the story of Lucius too. What a waste. Goodbye, Lucius. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Gabriel! But how? There we go. I followed you down just in case. And a good thing I did. The Prince of Darkness, bringer of all evil, King of Babylon, has perished. Let's go. Together we'll enter the pearly gates. Thank you.